of these three options, what is most likely to happen with Eli Manning? A, he turns it around and salvages the season. Not playoffs, but at least doesn't make it an embarrassment. B, gets benched. C, gets carted off the field for the season. Yeesh. Well, it's not how you don't want to. I mean, you don't even want to say Carter off the field. It's just horrific. But no, no, I'm, but I'm not. I don't want to see it happen. But tell me no, how no, it's no, not going to happen. It. We don't want to say it. I know what I'm saying. But but the thing, he's going to get benched because he got benched last year. It was like the the season wears on, and there's going to be more and more pressure, and there's more and more pressure. There's more pressure to make plays, and he's not. That's not his game. His game is getting protected. A great run, you know, get a runner, a defense giving the ball back, and he can he can make some throws. But if you're asking him to you know, create. We talked about this last week. He's not going to create uh, the way that you see other quarterbacks doing. And inevitably, they're going to have to turn to somebody else because that's what they need. They need someone to go out and create, just run around and make something happen. You know, I, I don't want to put you on the spot here, but, uh, you know, we talked about this last week. Uh, a, a former NFL player texted me during the show and said, everybody keeps making excuses, offensive line, this and that. He said, Eli is not that good anymore. Do you buy into that view? But we talked about this last week. We would cover this ground. I mean, the, the Giants benched him last year because it wasn't happening. And they decided not to draft a quarterback. They're going to take a big back, and they're going to re-sign Odell. And they, and they basically said, we think that, you know, I don't, I, I don't think it couldn't have been consensus because they, they wouldn't have benched him last the end of the season last year. But it's like, is this the guy that we're going to take for a, a year or two? going to draft a quarterback next year? Are you going to, I mean, what's the plan? But I, I guess my question to you is this, Steve. You had, to pick, you had to pick, Michael, you had to pick. Now, Saquon, no one's going to say that's a bad pick. No one in a million years is going to say that's a bad pick. But you, who knows what you're going to be picking this year and who's going to be available. You had a pick to get the next generation's great quarterback. You had it. And you decided, no, we, we think we have a guy that can play a number of years. You have to say that to yourself, right? Because if you don't think a guy's going to play a number of years, then you've got to take the quarterback. And when they decided not to, then they believed that Eli was capable of doing his job. I, I guess my question to you is this. Let's say that Eli had in front of him the offensive line from a couple of years ago that the, the Cowboys had. Would he be a top-flight quarterback or has have his skills eroded to the point that even with great protection, he will not be great? I mean, no, I think, he could, I, I think that's what they were hoping for, right? Okay. Is that a great back? would be able to help the play action game. Odell would be able to make some plays downfield and that, you know, and Eli could throw the ball. Like he can still throw the football. And so to me, it's not like his brother when at the Super Bowl, when he couldn't lose his shoulder, got so bad he couldn't actually throw the ball. He, Eli can throw the football. If he had protection, if he had everything working for him. And that's why he, things can right themselves here from where they were last week. But do they, are they going to excel? Are they going to do something special? No.